Once more, the situation had become intolerable. The Lawrences had to put a distance between themselves and Mabel. But Lawrence said he was going, and of course she didn't want him to go completely. So then Mabel offered them the ranch, and we went up there. Lawrence refused to be beholden to anybody, so he gave her the manuscript of Sons and Lovers and payment for it. But this ranch, I think, was a place that he loved. There's a wonderful picture of the ranch at the end of St. Moir, where Lou Witt brings the stallion finally to this ranch. And somehow the country supplies the answer, which in other stories that Lawrence wrote is supplied by his dark character, so to speak. This woman didn't find her, her destiny in a man. She found it in the country, in the horse, perhaps. Lawrence described the ranch in letters. About 150 acres in the mountain foot slopes, mostly pine trees, but two clearings. Not much water, though. It's a lonely spot here, beautiful scenery, altitude 8,500 feet. We have two little log houses and a tiny cabin. We've been a month working, building up one house, which was falling down and shingling the others. We had four Indians working on the job. He bought it a place and he told me to have to take him up to work. From there, I stayed about 15 years. And uh, to work with uh, Frida, to build the houses, is kind of ruined already. We have to have fix him up inside. We have a mega cupboard and everything. And after that, with my wife, they went up. We stay with him all the time. Brett had the tiny cabin only a glance away from the three-roomed ranch house where Lawrence and Frida lived. She joined in the work like a man. Only Frida was idle, even visitors work. I came up here and stayed with them at the ranch. And we did things together when he was building the little porch on the ranch. Why, why I was helping, you know, one on either side of the big cross-cut saw. One of us pulling and the other one pulling and then in turn like that. So it was very, very nice to, to work with him that way. This is the, the porch that Lawrence himself made, a very crude carpentry, but he loved it. And he loved to sit on the porch and talk to you. Strangely enough, he would read American magazines, adventure magazine. He was happy in this particular spot. This is the spot where Lawrence spent most of his life. He would look at the mountains 20, 30 miles away, and there was sort of a reverie in his eyes as he talked. The huge tree just a few feet from me, now, of course, it's grown, doubled, trebled its size. It was then a small pine tree, but now it's 50 or 75 feet high. But that tree was Lawrence's tree. He thought of it as his tree. 